Oh, oh classical Wednesday. All right, so remember, go with the flow. Have your little water in case you need some water to drink. Let's try to work through these nicely. And don't push yourself too far. If anything, just, you know, release it a little bit and um, do a modification. I will obviously modify for you most of the exercises. All right, okay. Nice and long. You can lift your head and just look and check that your feet are in line with your, your hips. So they're not off to the side. The cage is organized. Hands reaching towards the ankles, just like we would when we were standing up. Be <coughs> Sorry, breathing nice and broad. <coughs> Sorry. Into the sides. Then lift your head, neck, shoulders, reaching to those ankles, feeling that stretch into the mid back. Draw the tummy in, the feet across the hip bones, and then reach back down. Imagine you were just starting a roll down. Flex the feet for me this time. Cover the arms, zipping up, just pulling up with the feet flex, feeling differently into the body. Breathing in and down. Just lengthen those toes. Breathing in, nod the chest. Exhale, lift. Pressing the back of the legs into the mat as you point your toes away, reaching up into the chest. And down. So you can try to work into those upper abs. Flex the feet one more time, pulling the heels away from you. Pressing into the legs or feel those quads waking up as well. Drawing that in nicely. Breathing into the back and drawing that back down. Very nice. Take your legs in. Knees pointing to the ceiling. Hands onto the mat. Take a nice breath there. Roll your tailbone up. Roll the spine to get some length through the front of the legs. Through the front of the pelvis. Reaching that open all the way. Try to open into the psoas. Hold that there as you inhale. Exhale to press up a little bit more. And then on the inhale, you're going to roll down through the spine. Really trying to open vertebra by vertebra. Lower back is on the mat. And everything is released to neutral. Feel that pelvic floor completely released. And then hand on the ribs. Just melt the ribs. And you feel the back is on the mat. Nice and broad. Just keep your hands there. Inhale. And draw the belly in. As if you want to scoop away from your hand and feel the lower back imprinting on the mat. Okay, so you have a nice long lower back. It's no longer neutral. It's on the mat. Keeping that there, scooping into the belly, we're going to lift one leg. As you exhale, keep that connection into the abs to lift the other leg. No movement in the pelvis or the back. Fantastic. All right. So legs in 90-90. Let's take those arms up now. Reach them behind. Don't let the ribs flare, so just come to your, your ears. Don't go all the way back down to the mat. Breathing in, same thing, inhaling, exhaling to lift, draw the belly in and press your hands to where your legs were. And then breathing back in to come back down. So we lose a breath cycle. Exhale to lift, so nice and slow exhale, and nice and slow inhale to lower. And exhale to lift, reaching nice and high, and exhale to lower. Inhale to lower, sorry. Exhale to lift. One more here before we add on. And inhale to lower. Let's add on the leg extension. And exhale to lift, squeezing out those legs. And inhale to lower. Feel those upper abs. Now load those lower abs as well. Press, scoop the tummy. And in. And two more. Reaching up, exhaling, pressing those legs. And in. And one more, pressing those legs, stretch, and inhale in. Sweep those arms around, stretching into the front of the shoulders. Legs are squeezing together. Just roll the legs gently to the left, looking to the right, draw that to center. Roll the leg to the right, looking to the left, drawing that tummy in, just massaging into that lower back, stretching the neck. One more time, stretching into the neck, the back, Back of the ribs, the back of the waist, and drawing the tummy into the center. One more side, reaching over, draw the tummy in, press those rib cage down, feel the neck stretch, and draw that into center. We're going into our hundred. Bring those arms back behind you, lifting them to the ceiling, not the chin and heel. Exhale to lift and extend where you're comfortable. Draw the belly in and pumping into the arms. Two, five. 
and exhaling to pump two, three, four, five. Inhale two, exhaling, inhale, and keep going. Flex the feet and pull those toes in. Keep lifting that chest. Lifting that chest and scooping that belly. Let's turn out those legs, squeeze those inner thighs. Point those toes last cycle. Hold, inhale, lift a little higher, bring those knees in and head, neck and shoulders go down. Beautiful. Give your neck a little stretch from one side to the other, just gently. Nothing too aggressive. And reaching around. Beautiful. Take your arms behind you. Zip up those tummies. We're going to take those legs down. One, two. Slide them away. Stretch through the entire body. And you're coming into your roll-ups. Pulling through. Some of us are very early in the morning. Maybe a little bit tight. <laughs> and reaching back down. Doesn't matter. Just go to what's available to you. And zipping up. Pull. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Reaching back down. Nice and long. And lifting. Scoop. Let's add that little flex of those feet. Deepen that stretch into those hamstrings and calves. And reach back down. One more time. Point those toes away from me. Reaching. Remembering we are working. Just double check, there's nothing to hit yourself on. Scooping the skirt again, scoop over the waist, flex those feet, feel that stretch across the pelvis. Going those toes and back down. Scooping, curling them down. Beautiful, take your arms around and to the side. So I'm going to shimmy down slightly because I lost some real estate there <laughs> for my ribs. And we're going to go into our rollovers. Remember, anything that's not comfortable, leave it out. We can do our reverse crunches. Let's come back into our imprint as we lift one leg, lifting the other leg into that imprint. Make sure the back is nicely on the mat. Stretch those legs out. We're going to lower them to about 80, 70 degrees. We're going to inhale to take them to 90. Now, lots of quads, guys. Squeeze those legs together. As we exhale, we use the arms to peel the body off the mat. Feeling the waist is long, so don't just crunch down. Feel the back of the neck is relaxed, okay? No tension. If you can, scoop and tap, flex the feet, part them shoulder width apart. And then on the exhale, that was inhaling. And then on the exhale, you're going to roll through the spine. Press those heels away from the sits bones. Chest is open. Point the toes at 90 degrees and then coming down. Squeeze together here, zipping up. Pull to 90 and then peel over, reaching over, reaching over, nice and long into the spine. Flex, tap, open to shoulder width. Arms to support you as you back down. Beautiful. Point at 90 and then down, keep going. Take your legs to 70, a little bit more here. And then bring them last time over with them together and peel over. Tap, flex, inhaling, legs, shoulder width, heels away from six bones, scooping into the waist. Let's reach back down. Opening, opening, point those toes, reaching now. Keep them open, work into those quads, draw the tummy in, bring them back to 90, and again, scoop over. Reaching over, nice and long into the waist. Tap, flex, squeeze those legs, and bringing them down. Point the toes, they're together, legs are together, squeeze, scoop, open them, pull them back to 90 and peel over, long into that waist, tap, flex, squeeze on the inhale into the back, feel that full stretch and exhale, we have one more to go, reaching up, either just do your reverse crunch or you're just into your 
straight over. Now press those legs apart. Let's get them a little wider. Press those heels out. Feel a little bit of inner thighs, scooping into the waist. I'm going to squeeze them all the way together and then roll down through the back. Just adding a little bit more space into the SI, opening through the pelvis. Beautiful. Squeeze those legs and hug those knees in. You can rub those thighs. Might feel a little bit worked. Okay, so let's go straight into our next exercise. I'm going to go ahead and hold on to my hips so that I can make sure that the same level and then I'm going to slide my left leg down. Active into the hamstring and the glute. I'm going to squeeze that away from me so that I can open into the psoas, melt the ribs down, keep the hip pelvis anchored, and then lift this leg. Okay? So make sure you're squared off. Inhale to take it across the body. Exhale around and back to the top. Pressing into the bottom leg like as if you were trying to squeeze, stretch each leg away from each other. And for three. And lift. And four, lift, five, lift, last one, six, take it to the top. Let's hold on to that. Press the other leg away. Press the waist long on both sides. Flex that foot point. Flex. You should be feeling a nice stretch all the way to the SI, all the way up the thigh, all the way to the glutes as well. Press that other leg away. Draw the rib cage in. Flex the foot opposite direction and reach it around. And up, and around, and up, down, and up. Reach it around, lift, reaching it around. Let's go two more. Keep working into that thigh and that hamstring. Lower hamstring, glutes, feel the calf reach away from you and lift to the top, beautiful. I'm gonna slide that bottom leg in and so I can hug both knees. Round the back. Check your pelvis again, nice and long, waist is squared off. Take that right foot down and press that hamstring. Wake up that hamstring so you can slide that away and open in through the hip flexor, front of the hips, that hip joint, okay? Anchoring that those hip pelvis, lengthen that other leg up. Check the waist is long, press that leg away, take it across the body and sweep it around and up. A nice inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Let's go two more here. Reaching that other leg away, lifting. Inhale and lift. Hold that there. Let's hang on to the back of that leg. Flex and point. Pressing that head, hip away, so pressing that waist long. Point, yes. point, good. Now leaving that foot in dorsiflexion, feel that stretch from the sits bones all the way to the calf. Let's take it the opposite direction. Massaging into that hip joint, like you're stirring some honey into your tea. And each time you stir, you can feel the honey is getting more and more smooth. Nice thick organic honey. So you want to get that stickiness out of there. Reaching that around, working into those quads, ladies, working into the lower hamstring. Feel those abs, feel the core lift. Let's go again. Reach it around and lift. Last one. Reach it around, active in that lower leg. Lift. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and slide that other leg up. And bend those knees, rub those thighs. That should feel really strong into those thighs. Good. Hugging onto the legs, bring those ankles in close to the bum. Yeah, we want to think of as if we have some gold coins, gold bar between the he heels and the bum. You don't want to lose your gold bar, okay? You want to take the head, neck, and shoulders up, scooping into the belly for your rolling ball, all right? So you just start your roll, gentle roll. Yeah, just gentle roll, scooping, scooping, nice and scooping, very nice, rolling ball, rolling like a ball, remembering, let's pause, that we want to think about the massage into the muscles of the back, 
the massage of the internal organs, the concept of each vertebra touching down like a, a bicycle wheel, each spoke, really feeling that each spoke, really getting, pulling into the tummy to get that stretch. Let's hold this one up. Okay, we're gonna go back slowly so we can go into our ab series. Let's take our legs up 90-90. All right, zipping up. Then a walk down the legs, slowly into your position. Holding onto the right leg. Energy into the arms and the legs so you can feel into the glutes, stretching into this one, a single leg stretch. Shoulders are wide, elbows are wide. Let's try the other side. Anchor into that, feel the long squared waist. Now switch. Reaching as you exhale, inhale to switch and exhale. Keep scooping into that tummy, energy into the legs and arms, long into the back of the neck. Feel as if you have a ripe tomato underneath your chin. Don't crush it. You just want to gently curl over it. Okay, press away. Feel the length in that leg, single leg stretch. It's supposed to have a stretch action going on. And reach. And reach, let's go one more set. Reach and reach, bring it in together. Head, neck and shoulders go down just for a breather. We're going into our double leg stretch. Okay, so lift head, neck, shoulders, legs go out, arms go out. Sweep it around, keep the chest up and bring those knees towards the shoulders. Pull that pubis towards you, your belly button and then press with those inner thighs again. Press those heels out together and pull those heels in, zipping up and press those heels out. Imagine you have a band around your feet and you're pushing into it and press and feel those shoulders get nice and soft and two more, reach and sweep it around. Keep looking for the belly button, ladies. Don't look for the feet. Reach and pull, hold that in there. Lift those legs, hold onto the back of the head to give your neck a nice little break, but you still wanna be on the tips of your shoulder blades. Okay, we're gonna lower the legs with an inhale and exhale to lift. Now you wanna go as low as you can, but keep that lower back anchored onto the mat and squeeze back up. It can be one inch, it can be two feet, yeah? Take it to where you have the control. Remember this is contrology. It's not flinging your body around. Draw that up, let's go two more, press just on the tip of your shoulder blades and press and lift, beautiful, hold that up. Lower the head, neck and shoulders, feeling a lot of length in the upper back. Hold on to the right ankle for me, go as close to it as possible. Now I have very short arms. So if I reach too high up, I feel myself cheating by shortening the side of my waist. So I wanna make sure I keep my waist square and I just go as high as it's still comfortable to be soft in my shoulders and my neck, okay? Very important. Let's take that other leg away and stretching out now. Once we get to this position, ladies, we have the support. So I want you to roll into a neutral spine here, lower back, and feel the length into that psoas, but you must keep the pelvis square. Let's just hold that and feel that. Flex that top foot and now you deepen that stretch all the way through the hamstring and the calf, point the two. This one is called hamstring pull, let's switch legs. Let's just get the positioning, stretch into the waist, square it off, yeah, reach that other leg, opening through the psoas. So we feel the front of the bottom hip really open and we feel the back of that leg really open. Let's add that hip, good dorsiflex, beautiful. Let's take that other leg up. Now we're gonna add the whole exercise. So we're gonna lift the head, neck and shoulders. I'm gonna try to look for my belly button throughout. And then now we're going to switch the legs like scissors, zipping, press the legs. Some people call this one scissors. I like to use the name hamstring pull because I'm pulling so I can get that hamstring while your legs are scissoring. But let's think of the hamstring pull, pull. Because I don't really think you hold on to the leg to a scissors when you are trying to cut something. But you're pulling into this. Just think about the muscles. What's happening with the squared hips? Yeah? What's happening with the squared off waist? Press, and let's go one more set. Press, each time getting deeper into that stretch. And deeper, deeper, reach. Good, now bend those knees in, holding onto the back of the neck. Get your head nice and high. Elbows, peripheral vision, squeeze those feet together, draw the knees just over the hip joints, 
belly's in. Turn towards the left thigh, shoulder towards left thigh, and stretch that right leg away, and draw that to center, and twist the body, twisting that rib cage around the spine. Okay, twist and center, and twist, draw the belly in, twist, center, twist, center, twist, center, twist, center, and twist, zipping up, and twist, zipping up. Twist, last set coming up, okay? Twist the shoulder to the thigh, center. Twist the shoulder, center, and release that down. Nice, give your abs a little rub. Woo. Place one foot down and the other foot down. As soon as you put those feet down, you can feel how your hamstrings will got a good workout there, good. So I'm gonna shimmy up just slightly. We're gonna stretch our legs out so we can roll up for our, um, Spine stretch forward. So legs are hip distance apart. I'm open through my hips. So you already know that you can open there. And stretch the body, feel those abs stretched. Then bring the arms up, chest comes up, and you want to drop from that breastbone as you peel off the spine, reaching over those legs. And sit up tall. All right. Now, feet are flexed, as I said, hip or shoulder width apart, armpit width apart, hands in line with those armpits, okay, guys? I don't want them in line with the neck, line with those armpits, beautiful. Okay, I'm going to breathe into my back, let my chin roll over that tomato, bring my breastbone back so I'm getting that length and C curve into the spine. That's your inhale. On your exhale, I want you to squeeze the glutes, feel that lift, squeeze those legs, and reach over for your spine stretch forward. Remembering the deceptively difficulty of this exercise, reaching forward as you draw the ribcage back, really trying to curl, and then exhaling to stack the spine. And inhale, long into the neck, shoulders are down. Exhale, scooping over, really active in those legs, glutes, reaching, reaching, reaching. And lifting. Imagine you have thumbtacks underneath you. You want to lift off of them, but you have some blue tack holding you. Inhale there. Exhale, reaching, reaching, reaching. Give me some energy into the sides of those legs. Inhale there. And lifting. Stack that spine. All the way up. Squeeze those glutes. One more. Shoulders down. Breathing into that. Take that forward. Scooping into that. Scooping into that waist. Now let's take that a little lower, pressing into the feet, press those legs apart, get a nice big opening into that sacrum as we reach forward. Now pause there. On your inhale, open the chin, open the chest, lengthen through the spine, feel that length, feel that tailbone stick up behind you, feel those hamstrings and those calves. Big stretch. Hold on to your knees, your shins, whatever you can. Get to or pull the armpits down so elbows reaching towards the mat. Breathing in again, and then on the breath out, we're going to curl back, finish up, feel that stretch, release those feet or shins or knees, and lifting through the spine. Beautiful. Take a little breather. So this time we're going into an open leg rocker. What we just did was a nice prep. So let's get some real estate behind you. Remember, you're going to rock. There's nothing to hit yourself into. I'm going to bring my bum forward slightly. Bringing my feet in. I'm just going to get a lift out of my glutes and then hinge back. Okay, now I'm going to release my hands, take my legs up to 90-90. So prep, you can go into your open leg rocker here, or you can go ahead if you have it accessible to you in your full open leg rock. Okay, so we can do a couple of Let's roll through the spine just as we just did, curling, curling, and then curling back up. And try to get that 90-90. Lengthen through the spine, zipping, curling, rolling. Again, trying to think of each of the vertebra and lifting. If you wanna try long legs, you can, zipping lots more abs. Don't pull on the legs too much. It's ab work. That arm work here yeah, and lengthening, 
Feel the length through the spine and the legs. Flex and point. Let's go again, scooping. Remember, it's ab work, not arm work. Beaching. And scooping back up. Lengthening. I think we can do one more. Yeah. Yes, looking good. And scooping. Feels good. And up. Beautiful. So now our next exercise is corkscrew. So as our transition, what I like to do actually, um, yes, it's corkscrew. So we're going to squeeze our legs together. Okay, we're going to start the roll back and stay there. Arms come to the sides. All right. Squeezing the legs together, I'm going to come to you, lift my bum, nose points to the ceiling, circle that around, take it to the other side, and scoop that together. And let's go to the opposite side. Squeezing those inner thighs, ladies, pull that to the other side and draw that to center and take it across and sweep that around. Squeezing those inner thighs and draw that back to center and take it around. Squeezing those inner thighs, take it across and draw that to center. Beautiful. Pause for me. We're going to come back to our open leg rock position. Right. Let's go ahead and rock back up. Zipping up, nod that chin. I'm going to rock myself back up to our position. Hold. This time we're going to open our legs nice and wide, zipping up the body. Really stretch those legs. I'm going to release one arm. Release the other arm for our soul. Sitting up nice and tall. We twist. Keep both bum cheeks down and we saw off that baby too. Exhale. Exhale. Reach the arms in opposition. Lifting. Come across. Rotation. Rotation with flexion. Reach. Reach. Rotating. So you're looking up behind you. Arms are reaching in opposition. Both bum cheeks stay down. And lifting. Extend the spine. Rotate the body to center. Rotate around. Both my cheeks stay down. Reach. Scoop that belly. Twist the torso. Reach. Reach. Lifting. And center. And around. And reach. 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 And lift. And center. Last set. Press those legs away. All ten toes stay up. Don't let that back leg. Turn in. You want to keep that those toes reaching up. See, all ten toes stay up at all times. And reach, and reach, and lift, and take that to center. Beautiful. Sweep those legs together. Zipping up. Turn right onto your tummy. Immediately onto the tummy for our swan prep. Okay. Legs are nice and long. Front of the legs are on the mat. Your legs are in hip distance apart. Show hands just by your shoulders. So your fingertips are lined up with the front of the shoulders. But they're on the side, on the outside, okay? And then I want you to draw the tummy in so that you can push your pubis into the mat. So you feel that length into the lower back. Thinking of a long back and really strong into the front, okay? Now, once I do that, I'm gonna to have to connect into my glutes and my thighs, into my hamstrings. So obviously my knees are going to lift, then you know you're already active into those legs, all right? Let's first wake up the spine in this direction. We're gonna open the chin, just like we did when we were doing our spine stretch forward at the end extension. So the chin and the, and the neck is in one long line. We're going to extend it slightly as if rolling away a ball from our nose. And then we're going to lift into the thoracic spine into a nice extension there. Now I'll draw my tummy in so I'm not slouching into my back, to my lower back. And then I come back down. So you should feel a little bit of triceps wanting to help you. Just hovering your nose there like a little tennis ball. Stretch those legs, roll that away, opening. Opening, opening, good. Take a breath in there and rolling back down. Length, 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 good. And opening, zipping up across the tummy and lifting. Let's get a little inch off those elbows. Draw the tummy in, draw the shoulder blades down a little bit higher into the back. 
and reaching back down. So now, ladies, we're going to add those legs. Hover the chest there. Lift the legs up behind you and stretch them open slightly. Turn the heels towards each other. The toes are hovering off. Let's lift those legs even higher, right? Now, from here, we're going to rock up onto the thighs. Draw the tummy in. And then we're going to rock onto the ribs and lift those thighs off the mat. So let's just get about six nice rocks. You can go into those rocks for me. Just maintaining that line of the back. Keep it in control. Keep it in control. Okay. Go to where it's good for you. Different times of days, different feelings in the body. Good. Let's pull this one. Then draw the tummy in. You're going to come down. Lift those legs as high as you can. And then lower the head, neck, shoulders, lower the feet. Bring those legs together. Press the toes into the mat and just let the, bu the bum poke up a little bit. Draw the belly in. Okay, just to position your legs a little bit. Good. Now stretch the legs, draw the belly in and push the pubis back into the mat. The legs are long once more. We're going to come up onto our elbows, drawing into the belly nicely. I'm just looking down at my fists. All right, so I'm just looking past my fists so that my neck can stay long. I don't want to be looking here. I don't want to be looking here. I want to be nice shoulders down. Let's go. Squeeze the legs together and hover those toes. Right leg squeeze and flex. Squeeze again and reach it out. And the other side. Now keeping the back square, the waist square, yeah? So the tendency is to want to use the lower back to do this. We want to use hamstrings and glutes and calves. Okay, reaching. Press. Also feeling that stretch into the quadriceps as you do that. So opening the front line of the body and reach, reach and legs extend and lower them down. Fantastic. Double leg kick. So that was simple leg, single leg kick. Now we're going for our double leg kick. Hands clasped on the lower back. And this is a nice opportunity to press that tailbone away, draw the belly in and feel a little stretch into the back in case you felt a little bit scrunched up there. Okay, so this one, make it count. We're just gonna do one set. Then let your head go to one side. So that's a nice opportunity to stretch the neck. Okay, bring the elbows down. So stretch the shoulders, the hands on the sacrum, pressing it away. Lengthen those legs for me. Inhale, so lift those legs, little, both legs together, three presses. Stretch the thighs. In, two, three. Stretch them out. Don't put them down. Press the fist, palms together and lift the body, stretching up. Good. Long into the spine. And then go to the other side. Reaching that down. And squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Stretching that up. If you make it count, press those palms together. Open through the shoulders, zipping up. And then roll that down once more. If you do that right, you don't need more than one or two sets, okay? Roll immediately onto your back. And we're gonna go into our um, neck pose, okay? So to count to stretch the spine, make sure you have space. You're gonna keep the feet hip distance, hands behind the neck. Really make a nice cradle for your head. Cradle, not slingshot, okay? Elbows in peripheral vision. I'm going to press my feet into the mat, point my toes, and I'm going to curl up off the mat. Try as much as you can not to close the shoulders, elbows too much. You will want to close them a little bit, but obviously you will get better with time. It's a difficult exercise. You have to pace yourself. If you want to, you can always use your hands to help you up. The idea is to get your top of your forehead towards your knees. Flexing those feet to get a deep stretch into the back line. Open through the chin, open through the chest, lifting. So try to lift yourself out your, with your hands out there. Hinge, point those toes, and then curl back down. It's another one of those rolling, consider rolling, because we are trying to take the whole spine over the mat. Articulating, spinal articulation. Reaching over, get that stretch into the pelvis. Flexing those feet into the hamstrings and calves. Feel the mid back by pressing those elbows away. Press into the hands with the head. 
press into the head with the hands so you feel that length open through the chin the chest lifting through the body all right let's hinge and go back Scooping. let's just do one more a little bit more fluid so we can get that stretch i just want to give a deeper stretch as we're going into our bridging gonna feel really nice and deep and hinge and curl back all the way beautiful okay so next we're going to go quickly into some bridging what is it good all right so from lying down we're just going to bring our legs in similar to the rollover yeah we get that position squaring off the hips lower back on the mat legs are nice and long we're going to do that rollover thing again reaching over zipping up so we counter stretching the spine now right hands underneath your bum get the elbows really close together and then lifting that the legs up nice so really getting out of the hips and into the abs so let's scissor those legs now is a scissor we reach reach scissor reach try to really get that other leg reaching away sometimes you want to get the top leg really to the back the, the more difficult part is to get it the bottom leg further away so you're getting into a hip extension which we just did so you should have a nice extension there with that leg and reach reach just try some bicycles chit cycle that leg reach it and cycle it try to really drag that bottom leg so you can get it as low as you can down towards that mat reaching there and reaching there let's take both legs up together reaching down we're going to change the hands get a little bit more comfortable then bend the knee sorry bend your right knee and let's reach that down towards the mat stretching the hips up square the waist lower that leg mid shin and lift flex point draw the belly in press out of the other leg out of the hands so the hands shouldn't hurt because you're lifting out of the hands with that supporting leg with those abs lift flex point Just bring that leg down press those hips up take the other leg up and reach away zipping up flex point and length reach flex point and length reach flex and length reach flex point lower that leg pressing those legs away release those arms take a breath in feel the stretch into those quads lift a little higher and roll through the spine all the way down take those arms behind you lift those arms lifting into your half roll up holding up zipping up and reaching back and squeeze those legs very nice and reaching up crawling very nice and one more time tease a prep very nice coming up scooping up very nice stay there stretch those legs away and then lift those arms up swim them around back support squeezing i'm changing this sequence slightly as we press forward, getting us to get into that extension, ready for our seated spine twist. Hold and lower. Inhale. Exhale, peel off. Press those legs. Let's see if we can lift one leg. Once, twice, three. Lower that. Squeeze those legs. You don't have to lift them. You can just go up and down with your body instead another time. Each. Pull those legs together and then peel back down. Lift those arms. Come back into the top of that roller. Stretching nicely. Flex those feet glued together and uncurl for your seated spine twist. Reach those arms. Arms in your preferred vision. Don't get all there to arch the back. Get right where you have control at the armpit level. Inhale to twist, 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 and center. Then exhale. And twist, 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 center. Let's do that again, same breath cycle. And then we will add on another breath cycle there. So pause. Inhale to prepare and lift out of those six bones. Exhale to twist and twist further. Inhale to hold. 
Exhale to reach back to center. Inhale to grow. Oh, this is supposed to grow that belly. In. Exhale, twist, twist, twist. Inhale, reach further, plants behind. Feel that stretch in the neck. And exhale to the center. Take those arms in front and dive over to stretch into the back. Mm. And curl all the way up. Let's go quickly into our side work. Sequence of side. Okay, so let's do sets of four, five. So stretching the legs, same length. Make sure the toes are the same length. Bring that those legs forward slightly. I'm going to flex my feet. Let's press up and squeeze. So as I'm pressing, I'm pressing away and I'm keeping this waist lifted. Yeah, let's go two more here. Press and press. Good. Let's turn those legs out. Slide that in. Lengthen, flex foot down. Slide that in, knee opens. Reach and press and slide. Reach. Let's reverse. Let's come straight up. Open that knee and slide away. And lift. Draw the tummy in and squeeze. One more. Reach. Open that knee and squeeze. Baby toe pose down. Take that leg slightly forward. Waist is long, grand rond de jambe. Spiraling that leg, that femur in that hip joint. Really make it count. Use those extensors as you go back. Use the abs to stabilize. One more in this direction. Feel that deliciousness going on there. Beautiful, let's reverse that. Sweep it around, take it back into extension. Roll it around and back. Beautiful, stretch open. Twist that leg, taking that. Let's go one more here, reaching, swivel that leg, taking it all the way back, back and front. Let's take it to the back slightly higher. Let's take it to the front, shoulder width, shoulder height. Press into the dorsi flex, point the toe, long inhale. Exhale, exhale, hang on to that. So we just use the hip joint and not the back. Press, press, active in that bottom leg, press. And reach, reach. And press, reach, reach, press, squeeze, last one. Reach, reach, and squeeze, beautiful. Take it front, take both, take that leg down in line with your body. Let's lower and lift, lower and lift. Active bottom leg, lower and lift. Lower across that midline, lift one more. Lower across the midline, lift very nice. Soften that knee and place it down here. Take your arm from underneath you. Get a nice stretch and open out yourself here to a nice big stretch. Inhale, round that arm, circle it around. Little release of the neck and circle it back. Take a breath in there, feel that stretch. Lift that arm. Take it front, legs come together, top leg in front. I'm gonna push myself up. I get a nice little stretch to the other side of my body and take it over. We're gonna lengthen the legs and take a nice stretch to the upper side of the body. Press those feet into the mat, press the foot and the ankles. So you get a nice ankle stretch, zipping up. Take the lower side of the body, all those knees. Load that hip down slowly. Very nice. Swivel the legs to the other side. Do everything all over again. Right? Sorry. Okay, so legs along. If you want to have a drink of water, just do it. Right? Toes the same length? Yes. Waist is squared off? Yes. Hand on hip. Take the legs slightly forward. Flex. And lift. And squeeze. Lift. And lift. All the time you're pressing that leg away, okay? Keeping that waist long, okay? One more here. Very nice. Let's point those toes, turn them out, develop a reach and lift and squeeze those inner thighs. So we're really working inner thigh of that bottom leg as we're lifting it, right? Keep zipping up into the tummy, into the core. Let's reverse that. Reaching that out, squeeze. Lift, open, and squeeze. One more, reach, open that knee, 
and squeeze. Great. Leg comes forward and places down nice and active. That leg comes into your grand rondo jog. Remember, we're swiveling that leg in the joint, but we're trying not to move the waist or the back. We're just working into those hips, getting really mobile with them. Let's reverse that. Stretching it up, swiveling. Hold your leg there. You can air to get more challenge. Reaching that around. One more there. Squeezing into the back of that. Beautiful. Take it all the way back. Knee, front and back. Press. Press active in that bottom leg. Squeeze it. So we're working from the ankle all the way to the hip. Reach that leg behind. Keep that tummy anchored, ladies. Keep that really feeling anchored. Reach. Reach. And squeeze. One more here. Reach. Reach. And squeeze. Good. Now take this leg back. Take this leg forward. So we're in a little X flex. Lower past the midline. Feel that hip stretch. And then lift. Abductor. Press. Just 90 degrees at the body if you can. Obviously, you'd bend your knee if you need to. Press. And lift. Press. And lift. Press. And lift. Active bottom leg. Press. Lift, I think we have one more press. That cheat there, soften that knee and down. I think that was fine. Big six. Okay, so I'm stretching that bottom leg in line with my body. Take that arm from underneath me and go ahead and get my nice full body stretch. Reaching it back. back. Circle that arm around, reaching it, circling it back the other way. Nice. And the other way again. And take it. Very nice. Take it up to the top, reach it forward, stretch into the mid back and bring those legs together. Top leg goes in front, we'll push ourselves up. Mermaid stretch into side bend. Reaching over, go the belly in, up, reaching that arm out. We're gonna soften the knee bend so we can go all the way up. Arms coming from the ankle. Remember, we want the top foot pressing on so we get and the bottom ankle stretching out, right? So we wanna get into that stretch into both of the ankles all the way up the side of the body, from the fingertip all the way to the tip of the ankle bone. Reaching up out of your waist, then reaching that down, stretch the lower part of the body nicely. We're still gonna feel it. And then soften the knees, it's strengthening into the legs, fantastic. All right, come into your um, seal position to do a rocking with our seal. And stretch, that will be our stretch for the figure of four stretch, okay? So let's first take um, our right leg in and bring it towards the chest. Just feeling that stretch as we press this leg away, this knee away. Just feeling that stretch, lifting up into that nice knee. Just take, turning that body around, turning it the other way, just feeling that hip open. All right, good, let's bring that over. A nice stretch into the back as we curl over that, all the way from the hip and lifting up, very nice. Let's go to the other side. Take that other leg in. Rock, then we come into the height, and then we go in here and rotate you around. It's gonna be nice. Sometimes we do rock side to side. That's strong, big stretch, and then reaching forward. By flexing into the spine, we feel a little bit higher into the pelvis, stretch here still into the hip joint but you just find it radiates a little bit more generally than up the back and let's curl up so let's go for our seal okay we're going to make sure we can get a nice space into those inner thighs here yeah? feeling that good then we're going to sweep our hands and sweep good get our balance make sure there's nothing behind you to hit check your surroundings because it's rolling, yeah? So we're gonna clap nice, big. Three, two, one, that's three inhales. 
Inhale, 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 exhale, inhale, 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 exhale, come back up. Inhale, 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 scooping in, exhale, inhale, 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 scooping up. Inhale, 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 scoop. And inhale, inhale, scooping that waist, feel those hips. Let's do one more fun one. Yes, and go. One, two, three. And let go your hands, let go your hands, cross your legs, and come to stand up. <laughs> Can you manage that? Go ahead, shake those legs out. Grab your little cushion. Let's grab a little cushion. I get my big cushion. <laughs> ah, and let's just do a nice lateral stretch and breath. Okay, so legs nice and wide. Get that last little stretch in. Bring those arms up. Ah, bring those arms to one side. Ah, pull that wrist. Both bum cheeks staying down and lift. Pull out to the other wrist. Reach, 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 reach. And lift that up, beautiful. And take that down. So back so I have space and lift everything in front of me. And bring it forward. Now press those toes up, ladies. Press that forward. Get that tailbone sticking out. Nice big inner thigh. Nice flat back reaching like you're offering up. So you try to reach for something. Press those toes up and reach a little further. Press those toes up, reach a little further. Now bring those elbows towards the mat. Press the bum cheeks behind you. You're also going to send that tailbone out. You're going to feel that nice space into the pelvis. Just let the head relax and be long. We're not rounding the spine yet. We're just trying to keep nice flat backs, much more intense. Press those toes up to the ceiling even more. Good, and then relax the head down. Just feel that stretch up the back, in the inner thighs, into the sacrum. And then walk those hands in. All the way, feel nice and soft into the legs, good. Here, yeah, let's just rub our hands. Rub ourselves. Well done, well done, you feel good. Or shake here, nice, good, nice and loose. Let's go ahead, side to side. I'm going to do a few of these during the day, just to make sure you stay limber. Pretty hard, tight breath in, and then hands come to the heart. Just take a nice deep breath as we place our hands on our heart and our belly. Just feeling a nice coherence and a regulation. Excitement that we have for life. The energy for our tasks ahead. Middle of the week. For some time to care for yourself. Just relax those hands into the lap. Take a short bit of meditation here. I need to jump off the call, I can understand. Also, add this part in just short breathing in. And as you breathe out, just feel your head float to the ceiling, your shoulders relax, your face relax, jawline relaxes. Squeezing into the nose, feeling that energy just elevate the entire body. As you exhale, you can touch your lips and feel your throat relax. Oh. Just to allow that vibration to keep some resonance to your soul. Mm. Just breathing in gratitude. Breathing out any tension that's left to your body.
So just choose a word that comes to your mind which you feel will inspire you for the rest of the day. Choose the word flow. Why not for anything distract me? Staying in a state patient find other people. So open myself up to a blessing to meet you. So there I will ask for the strengthening, sharpening, like the discernment. So we take the time, stand inside choices. So when you work. Just take one more minute. Slowly top of that inhale. Just share it slowly and just rub it to the tips. Just roll your eyes around. Gently open your eyes, roll your eyes around, focus the eyes. Just turn your head and look around you. See if you can find a color to match that word. Lila. I will have a thorium there. I think that's going to be my color to go with my lavender. So, Just let your head float to one side. Any energy that's just stopped in that junction. So, have your thoracic in that junction of your throat, your voice, your authenticity, your power. Just allowing that to release, nodding your chin in. Let's take a nice deep breath, just opening ourselves to all the divine energy and blessings. <sighs> But this ladies, this is a little hug. Namaste. Joy.